Hello and welcome to the Benbridge Hedge Invest Emerging Markets Absolute Return Fund April update, um, where we had a one of the worst months for EM in a while. Uh, EM was down five and a half percent last month, bringing the year-to-date return on EM down to over negative ten percent. And since we launched the fund, EM has now returned a cumulative return of minus twenty-one percent. April was a particularly difficult month for markets with Brazil, which had been the star outperformer this year based on its commodity exposure, having a major reversal and giving up 15% uh, in the month. China was also down another 4%, continuing its uh, decline, having declined 8% in March. And developed markets didn't fare much better with NASDAQ being down 13% um, and uh, heading back towards the lows of the year. In the yield space, uh, bonds, 10-year Treasury bonds, uh, yields went up 60 basis points, leading them to be at the highest level for three years. The combination of higher interest rates, higher inflation, a stronger dollar, high energy prices, and the war in Ukraine dragging on and continuing to, um, you know, to cause supply chain disruptions uh, in many uh, agricultural goods, for example, sunflower oil and wheat, uh, is not a good combination for emerging markets. Emerging markets are generally importers of food and uh, energy um, and exporters of goods. And that combination of supply chain issues, higher inflation in agricultural commodities and weakening demand with higher interest rates in the US uh, has led to a big pullback in emerging markets. As we speak in uh, this month, uh, emerging markets are down another 6%. Uh, month to date. So we continue to see this trend of uh, markets cheapening uh, as the macro environment worsens. On the positive side, we're now at valuations that are very close to the valuations that we saw in 2015 when emerging markets bottomed out for the last uh, cycle. Uh, we're now seeing a price to book on emerging markets below 1.5. We have now got a PE multiple approaching 10. Uh, both of those historically have been good entry points for emerging markets. And we think that we are getting closer to a valuation floor uh, in, in these markets. For example, in March, when the HSCI index hit a level of 6,000, uh, this put the index on a 6.7% dividend yield. We added to some exposure at that point. Um, and uh, captured a, a good part of the uh, bounce, uh, the 20% bounce that the market had into the end of March. Uh, that, that market has started to give, it up, give up those gains again. But uh, again, we're looking at where are the buying opportunities in this sell-off? Uh, where are the valuation flaws? Where do we feel comfortable in taking, a, um, uh, taking more exposure? Uh, where we are seeing the, those valuation flaws that we believe will hold over the longer term. Uh, so right now, that's our focus. We're looking at uh, businesses that are going to struggle with inflation on the short side. We're looking at businesses where the valuations have cheapened up so much um, that we have comfort, comfort on their downside risks uh, for our long side exposure. If you want to know any more about what we're doing or ideas and trades, please feel free to contact your Hedge Invest uh, salesperson. And uh, we look forward to giving you an update next month.